With the start of deer hunting season, it is important to practice and understand hunter safety. Local 3's Corinne Griffith joins us now to tell us, well, what we all need to know if we're going to be out in the woods. Thursday afternoon in Antrim County, a hunter was shot and killed by another person hunting nearby. The Michigan Department of Natural Resources wants all hunters to be informed on hunter safety protocol. In fact, hunter safety courses are required in the state of Michigan. And there's so many different safety things when it comes to firearms that are taught in our hunter safety courses for when you're how to handle a gun, where to keep that muzzle, if you're crossing a fence, if you're crossing a river, you know, handing it to your partner while you cross the fence and then he hands it over the other side. That's why we require hunter safety in the state of Michigan so that we can eliminate and try to minimize any of those accidents that do uh, unfortunately occur. Some basic hunter safety tips include but are not limited to be sure of your target before shooting, keep your safety on until you're ready to shoot, wear proper hunting clothing and eye and ear protection, and always be aware of your surroundings. But it's not just gun safety that you should be aware of. Keeping yourself safe is also important. Letting someone else know exactly where you're hunting in case the accident does happen. And it doesn't have to be a firearm accident. It could be a medical issue, it could be a slip and fall, it could be a bad cut, um, could be anything like that. This also means dressing appropriately for the weather and wearing layers. Bring a map, compass, and flashlight. Have a first aid kit handy. And if you're using a stand, make sure you are safely harnessed in to prevent falls. Um, every year we have people fall from tree stands. Um, and, and they do cause injuries and even deaths from just falling from a tree stand. It's important to stay alert and aware of your surroundings for not only your benefit, for those around you as well. Reporting in studio, I'm Corinne Griffith, Local 3 News.